some face mist, like I bought that Madonna one, I did a review a couple years ago now, and it was like $125, I'm like, it's ridiculous, I cannot believe. If uh, I have a hack here for you, if you're looking at the Madonna face mist, and you're thinking of buying it, save your money, because the smell that you smell in there is the burning of $100 bills, not the roses in there. Hello beautiful, thank you so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I'm Cody, the founder of Montauble Skincare, always here to help you have the most healthy, glowing, and gorgeous skin regardless of your age, concern, or budget. Today's video, I want to share with you how you can make a face mist at home that will cost you pennies so that you don't spend a lot of money on a face mist and lift unless you found a face mist that you really love. But I'm gonna share this with you because it's what we do in our office. I make them so that I can make them more frequently, I can change the smell of them, and I can add different ingredients to them, and I also do this at home. So I'm gonna just share a few things that you can do to help yourself save money with a face mist and also get creative so that you can kind of mix and play around and, and just have fun with this process because I mean, I don't know, some face mist, like I bought that Madonna one, I did a review a couple years ago now, and it was like $125, I'm like, it's ridiculous, I cannot believe. If uh, I have a hack here for you, if you're looking at the Madonna face mist, and you're thinking of buying it, save your money, because the smell that you smell in there is the burning of $100 bills, not the roses in there. I found one at the drugstore, and you may be familiar with it, and it smells even better than the Madonna face mist. And I really, really, really like this and love it and found it to be very just soothing and natural. A face mist isn't going to do much for your hydration unless it has maybe some hyaluronic or some, you know, glycerin in there, which I'm going to teach you how to do now. So you can get smaller bottles if you want, like go and get little bottles that are like 15 ml or, you know, maybe 30 ml. So you can make them more frequently or you can put them in your fridge. If you want like a cold mist, you keep it in your fridge. And especially if it has has a little bit more of a sensitive ingredient that it could degrade like hyaluronic acid or glycerin or something like that then you want to keep it in your fridge and it also just feels amazing to spray your face with like an ice cold mist so I spray my face my boyfriend thinks I'm insane like probably I mean I'm gonna spray right now this stuff smells so good so yummy I love this I probably spray my face like three, four times a day. Just because it's refreshing, I live in San Diego, it's just my thing, I'm just, you know, when I really want to butch it up, I just spray my face. <laughs> I don't know, I just like doing it. It's something I really enjoy and it's my thing, it's like part of my ritual. And also the thing about spraying your skin before you do anything like moisturize or use a serum, that helps you use less serum and I'm all about conserving, I'm also all about getting the most bang for my buck and allowing a product to be able to penetrate deeper into my skin. So if you spray your face or leave it wet at least what before you moisturize it what that will do is the water will act a little bit like a vehicle you'll end up using less of your um, moisturizer unless that moisture unless that product is a serum that has like vitamin C in there you probably don't want your skin to be too wet so play around with it try it but this is a mist I really love I think it's like six bucks but if let's say you wanted to like create your own mist what I recommend is you go get a bottle from Amazon this is a continuous spraying mist like this and it can be quite a bit, but they also sell smaller bottles. And what's great about these is that mist that you spray yourself with is like the perfect line mist that just feels very refreshing. And what you can do if you just want a, like a very simple face mist that will actually help with some redness and soothing your skin, instead of putting regular water in here, you would put in here mineral water. It has to be mineral water, so not like not like carbonated water. Put mineral water in here, and the minerals in here are kind of nice and soothing to the skin and help with a lot of like irritation if they have like magnesium and a little bit of sodium and stuff so that's always a great little trick if you're doing a face mist just do distilled water I think that's the best because of the pH instead of just obviously a water from the faucet but if that's all you got that's all you got do what you can do um, but then also what you can do is you can take this water in here I have glycerin in here you just sit here and you put in about 10 drops The more you put, the more sticky it can get, so you can always use less and add more later. And then before you use it every time, you just shake it. If you wanna add more to it, you can add like a little rose oil or a little bit of a lavender. Citrus isn't always the best, even though it smells really refreshing. Some people can be sensitive to citrus and it can cause, if you were to like spray your face or apply citrus, it can cause 
a pigmentation possibly especially like lines and stuff so and then if you want it to be a little bit more lipid based this is where you get into some issues with it going rancid so you have to be careful so I'd recommend using a smaller bottle but you can just add here and I haven't done it for a while but sometimes I will if I'm going through like a lot of exfoliation or retin-a when I was using it I would put a little bit of lipid in here and you can use whatever lipid you want I prefer ones that are a little lighter so you could do like olive oil or this is argon oil that I get from Trader Joe's here. Sorry, the bottle's kind of old, so it looks probably a little oiled. But when you start to add the water and the oil, you can get issues with rancidity, so you want to use it within a few days to a week or keep it in the fridge to help it last a little bit longer. You can also add a little bit of aloe vera to this, whether that's natural or you could get from like Trader Joe's. They have an aloe vera gel that is for, I think, just skin soothing and stuff. And you could also add that in there and then shake it every time. And now you've just created your own little face mist that costs you like pennies basically the most expensive thing that it'll cost you is this bottle and this bottles last a very long time we use this in our spa and it lasts you know probably a year and a half each bottle and that's spraying it every single day I hope this video helps you in some ways to save some money and get creative with making your own face mist of course you know there are some face mists there is one that I really love by Jordan Samuels um, but it costs you know like $20 so if you want to spend money on one you can definitely pay the money for like a formulation of one but try this see what what you think I mean it's water so I don't think we should be spending too much money on water in a bottle I'm just saying um, try this let me know what you guys think and as always stay gorgeous and I'll see you really soon in a new video bye